Hey guys, James again for TFB TV. Today on TFB TV, we're gonna do a little light, refreshing myth busting. On one of the last videos I did about the SIG MPX, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite carbines in my collection, a lot of comments to the video made reference to blowback shooting the gun suppressed. A lot of people complaining, saying that when you shoot the SIG MPX suppressed, you get a lot of blowback in your face. Uh, which is something that similarly happens with some SBR M4s when you shoot them suppressed. Given the volume of comments about the SIG MPX blowing hot loads in people's faces, you would think that they would have called this the SIG MP Ron Jeremy. Now, spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you guys, I've shot this gun in a carbine course in the uh, Shooter Performance Institute carbine course and I shot it suppressed and unsuppressed, and I didn't have any problems with blowback. And I really felt like a lot of the people leaving the comments were just parroting things that they may have heard on gun forums or from their buddies. And a lot of the comments seemed like these people didn't really have the experience behind a suppressed MPX to make that sort of opinion. So today, very easy. I'm going to take the SIG MPX. I'm gonna fire it a couple of different ways to show you guys that with this AAC EVO 9 that I'm using, Advanced Armament Evolution 9, there is virtually no blowback from the SIG MPX, and hopefully I'm gonna bust this myth. Bear with me, got a little summer shower to compete with here, but I just loaded up 30 rounds of 147 grain CCI Blazer into this MPX mag. I've got the EVO 9 on here. I even mounted a little GoPro up front here so you guys could get a little perspective on the ejection port as I shoot. So let's go ahead and give these first 10 rounds a shot. All right, I didn't count if that was 10 rounds or not, but no blowback whatsoever. None, absolutely none whatsoever. Now, I could be full of shit, and I could be just telling you guys that because I love this MPX so much that there was no blowback, and in fact, I'm getting scalding hot debris blast it all over my face. So what I'm gonna do to counteract that, I've got a few Burger King napkins in the car from when I got lunch. And I'm going to make a specially, scientifically designed face mask, all white, so you guys will be able to see if there's any debris in my face. I'll, I'll shoot and then I'll bring it right up to the camera and you can check it out. Okay guys, science mask in place. Let's give it a shot. Now, I'm assuming that I'm gonna bring these napkins up. Ugh. <laughs> this f***ing wind. Uh, and you're gonna see there's no shit on them. Let's check it. Doesn't get more science-y than that. So here's the little mask I just wore. God, this is pathetic, guys. F***ing Burger King napkins. So sad. What a sad YouTube channel. Anyways, I've got, um, you might be able to see like a couple of little tiny specks right there, but there's really no blowback from this gun uh, when you shoot it suppressed. Uh, and that's amazing to me because I saw so much criticism, so many people complaining about all the blowback and how terrible it was, and, and there's none. So let me give one more thing a shot and let's see if I can get this thing to blow back in my face. That's what she said. All right, let's give this a shot. All 
that's it. So when I tilted it sideways, I actually did get a little bit of blowback. I, I could feel it on my forehead. Um, may even be on there. You guys may even be able to see it. Um, but there was a little blowback when I tilted it sideways, but shooting it right side up, there, there's no blowback whatsoever. Nobody's going to be shooting it sideways, of course. And I would think any gun, if you shot it sideways, you'd get a little blowback. But as I've said, shooting this gun regularly with a, a, a silencer mounted on it, there, there's no blowback. There is no perceivable blowback. I have to turn it sideways. And at that point, with how short the stock is, I mean, it's seven, eight inches in front of my face, the ejection port is. And that's the only time I get any perceivable blowback. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this myth is busted, but I'm also gonna leave it open. And why is that? That's because I'm using a quick disconnect suppressor, the AAC Evo. So the quick disconnect, the triad right here, maybe it acts as an expansion chamber and maybe that's helping me. But that said, that's how I shoot this gun. Um, that's how I, I've got a tri-lug adapter on the barrel and I shoot this gun with the AAC triad and I get no blowback. So maybe you guys with direct thread silencers can kind of chime in and tell me what your experience is. But my experience so far has been no perceivable blowback whatsoever. So I was frankly shocked by some of the comments that were left the last time I did this video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next week.